This evening we'll be talking about rail infrastructure, investments in the Liverpool City region and rail services in the Liverpool City region, but in particular the new rolling stock that Mersey Travel and Mersey Rail are going to bring to the network later this year. It's important that we engage with business leaders for a number of reasons. It works two ways. Um, we have invested a lot of money in Liverpool over the last five years and we will continue to do that, but that can bring disruption. So we need to engage with business users and business owners to ensure that we minimise disruption to their business to allow them to plan for it, but more importantly to make sure that they, we consult with them and they get the benefit of the work that we do. So we started by talking about Merseyrail itself, so everyone understood the, the, the nature of our operations. But just the fantastic uh, innovations that are taking place over the next few years, that's including things such as uh, the new fleet that's coming onto the network in 2020, um, enhancements to stations in terms of new stations, potential investments in stations in the, in the Baltic Quarter we talked about, an extension of the rail network by using battery operated trains, so the new trains being fitted with a battery so we can extend uh, to Skelmsdale. Just about the, the challenges that that will bring, because of course it's about the growing city region. Also talking tonight about ticketing and the advancements we're looking to make in ticketing to make it more the people we recognise move into a cashless society so people to buy their tickets online. So it's about exciting developments that are taking place on the Merseyrail network. It's fundamental as part of that we engage collaboratively, not only with Network Rail, who manage the infrastructure, and Mersey Travel, who are, who are our clients, but also the, the public and private sector, because we understand our responsibilities and the benefit that we can bring to the economy of the city region. This evening um, was very focused, as you would imagine, for an event that was sponsored by Mersey Rail on the rail network. And we learned that Mersey Rail is actually the best performing uh, rail network in the UK, which is nice to hear, um, but is still got ambitions to improve. So there's new stock coming on stream within the next few months. That's something that we can look forward to. And of course, we had Rail Network and Mersey Travel in the room as well, talking about some of their ambitions and exciting developments and initiatives around Baltic Triangle, potentially Everton Football Club. And again, some positive messages about airport connectivity and what we might be able to anticipate as positive moves in the not too distant future. More of a focus on the local indigenous community and what Mersey Rail will be getting up to over the next few months and overall a very very positive day and some positive messages uh, from the people who've spoken today.